This comes from Wish. What did I order from Wish? Hey, Dana. Not order anything from Wish. Unless it was a while ago. Unless it was a while ago. I think you got that wrong, sir. I ordered this off of Amazon. Yes, I did. These are those little... You put them underneath your eye to basically make sure that you don't get fallout from. Also, we went to Target yesterday. I found these. These are, aren't these the cutest things? This one says to boo list. Look at this. Isn't that the cutest thing? And then I found this one. Things I'm dying to do. Look at how cute that is. Also, I found some other things. Just a little FYI, in case you didn't notice. Hey, Christopher. Right. Got some other stuff, too. But that's for later. But that's for later. I have an itch on my leg. All right, time to get serious. I'm gonna order, I'm gonna order a black pressed powder shadow because I am using so much from palette three and I feel like that, I don't know, that it might be better if I just ordered because I'm just like using the black from palette three so I feel like it might be better if I just ordered the pressed powder shadows or I could order the cream shadow but I like the pressed powders better personally personally you always push up anybody else do this hey Elias push up your face stop that aging stop it you wanna because we all want to look like this right we all want the high cheekbones. Maybe you don't want to look like that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You look however you want to look. Today, we are doing Jack-O-Lantern. Not doing a pumpkin. Not doing a pumpkin. It is a Jack-O-Lantern. It is a Jack-O-Lantern. I'm debating. Should I put like regular foundation on first? Kind of even out my skin tone. I feel like that would get a better result. I feel like that would 
be better. I just, you know, I feel like that would give me a better result. Hey, Kimberly. about that. This shirt is so dirty. I need to change it up and wear a different one. It's life working from home. Every freaking day. I cannot find my mirror. like that this should not have to happen every single day. I'm going to switch the bag that I keep it in. I'm going to switch the bag. I'm just going to keep it with my foundation because I use it with foundation. Some of you are going I want scarlet. I want I want my organza. Ooh, eye primer. That probably is a good idea to put on. Put some eye primer on. Literally two minutes into this video. Hey, Tammy! And I have made a mess again. Again. So that's funny. Is this, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I think that makes me the pumpkin queen. Or maybe not. Okay, at this point, I am just looking for. Aha! being extra. Yes, I have concealer right here. It's not necessary. Product placement. I for real crack myself up like this is it's it's just too much I didn't shake that up excuse me okay now I'm gonna put just a little bit because I am running out of my organza you guys I know that it's only been a year, but come on, found it. Ooh. We're going to stop squirting a little bit. I'm going to stop it. I've had it so much that the box that I keep it in, I put it in the top and literally. I feel like that should not happen. Scarlet or Scarlet. this what is
You guys, do you guys like those faces do you, that I make? Do you, do you like that? Do you find that, does that amuse you? Does that, does that, are you not entertained? Why is it all? Bubbly. It's bubbly. I don't know if it should be bubbly. Okay, well, it's, at this point, We've gone too far, too far, too far. Yeah, I got it on my shirt, made it worse. Hey, Taylor. That's fine. That is fine. Anybody get like leftover makeup underneath your eyes, even though you didn't wear makeup the previous day? Like, where does that even come from? Like, I clean my face. I wash my face. I clean all the makeup off. And then somehow, like, a week later, I say a week later, but, like, I, I'll go a day and I won't wear any makeup. And then the next day, I somehow have makeup under my eyes. What is that? What even is that? It's so weird. It's so strange. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like this could be a whole makeup look in and of itself. In and of itself. I feel like I should have you guys so that you can see my pumpkin heads. Jack o' lanterns. Oh, my upper lip is red. Oh, why is it so red? I haven't been messing with it. I haven't been plucking hairs today, tweezing hairs today, because I do that. I haven't been, you know what I bet? I bet it's because my nose has been slightly runny. Just ever so slightly. And I have been dabbing it dabbing it because that's my, my new thing like I don't actually rub anything I just kind of dab it what is it looks from far away it looks like I have like a bruise or something on my face what the heck happens to my face like do I just like go unconscious and then people beat on my face just freaking beat up my face or something what the heck I, I, I don't know. I have no answers. I have no answers for you. Just spit on the phone. That's not good. Mm, water break. It was you, Taylor. I had a feeling. I did. I had a sneaking suspicion. been watching Graveyard Girl too much, so now every time I take a drink, I'm like, sippy, sippy. Mm. Okay. Joey, where are those sponges? Sorry, guys. Those sponges that I used the last time. What are you talking about? I put them in my bag. Hang on. I thought that I put them in my bag. Don't let those spill. We got some new chips, you guys. You guys want to see? You guys want to see? In this bag. I thought I put it in this bag. You know the sponges that I'm looking for? Yes, I know. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Okay, give me one of those chippy chippies. Okay, so we tried these chips, all right? Ten out of ten. 
buy these. These are freaking amazing. I, we bought Cheddar and Zesty Ranch, and they are both pretty good. And they're like 30% less fat than other ones. So that's awesome. Oh, you know what I need to do? What? I need to seal it. Or, because I'm going to use... I was just like holding it, and it fell out of my hand. Like, it fell out of my hand. I thought you said you were going to be out here and support me, and you're not, and that hurts my feelings. I love you. I love you, too. Yeah, I saw somebody else recommend them, and I was meant to get them, and then just never did, and yesterday I saw them. And because me and Jason are on our diet, which I will make a whole big post about later because I've been meaning to and haven't. Story of my life. I need to move my leg. And you guys are still on my lap. I have a mess. Um, you know what? We're going to use the setting powder just to kind of set it so that it will blend easier with. Oh, wow. What? What? Oh, nothing. Something. I'm going to use my Andre Laurent what? brush that I got off of Amazon. It was, like, on sale for, like, six bucks. And I was like, ooh, it's a, I like these brushes that are, like, firm. Okay, now the only reason that I'm setting this is because I am going to put eyeshadow all over my face. And I figured with setting powder too, when you put a liquid down, whatever powder it, that goes on top of it kind of will set it. So, and I didn't put any on my eyes. I did that for a reason. You don't want to like swirl your brush because swirling your brush, it really does like exfoliate, I guess, or it can. So like if you just pat your brush, I feel like the effect is better. Hey, Anita. And of course. It has that, that nice effect right in it. That is enough. That is enough of the setting powder. Back in the box it goes. I keep everything in boxes for the most part. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it makes me feel like it's more, like more new. I really don't know. Can't answer that for you. Now I'm just taking my sponge and kind of going and smoothing out the powder, kind of pushing it in. There's no PG way to say that, that it is what it is. Seriously, like, I don't know if I have like a hair right here, but it looks like I have like a bruise or something. We'll have to investigate that. I will tell you guys this. We were at uh, Walmart and we were looking for a black lipstick because Halloween because Halloween and um, I've been doing a lot of looks that require lipstick and so I figured you know it kind of made sense to me to go ahead and buy a black lipstick I don't know that Unique has one that I could tell they have a dark purple which I have and they have of course like cream eyeshadows which I also have some of them. Hey, Heather. But they don't have a black lipstick. And it's been years since I've had a black lipstick. I used to buy those every gosh dang year. Like, they would come out on Halloween with the black lipsticks. And I was all over it. I don't remember if it was, like, wet and wild. But that was, that was, those were totally my jam. All right. Now I'm taking these super cool wedge sponges. These are Equate. I highly recommend these for Halloween. I think it's, like, 98 cents or a dollar. And you get... 32 of them. 
So these are drastically different from like your beauty blender or your facial sponge that you use. These I'm using for special colors for Halloween. Um, basically they're ones that are cheap enough that I feel comfortable throwing them away. That's, that's my thing. So I don't have to worry about washing them. If you put them in grease paint or if you put them in like the cream stuff you buy at the store, the crappy, 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 crap, 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 crappy stuff. Okay, now we're just going to start with the orange. Now I'm using Witty, which is a pumpkin orange. And I'm going to start with my face first because that's the biggest surface. It is the biggest surface. I have the sponge bent. And I know what you're thinking. Like, oh my gosh, that works with powder shadows too. That works with powder makeup. Absolutely. It may not work as well with powder, but it does still work. And me and Joey voted and I lost. So orange face it is. I should just do this all the time. I should have done this in the summer as like an extreme tan. Hey, Amanda. Did you guys jump on and I don't say hi to you? I'm not ignoring you. My brain, I sometimes don't brain as well some days as I do on others, so it may not have clicked. And yes, I just said that I don't brain as well some days as I do other days because it is, is a thing. And I'm just going to do this. Okay. Hey, Paul. I like that. I love these. These are so adorable, and they were only like $2. $2, you guys. $2. Hey, Casey. I didn't dip it in lively, did I? I hope I didn't. You're like, things were going so well. Things were going so well. And then I decided to use a darker orange. Ah. You're at Target, girl. Two dollars. Two dollars for you. Freaky fun. I don't know. I don't. That didn't sound right. I'm sorry. You do you. You use them for whatever you want to use them for. So cheap. I was on the hunt. Like, we went to Target because Target has Starbucks. And Jason and I are addicted to Starbucks now, apparently. I went and tried their tea. I went and tried, by the way, um, the matcha green tea latte. The iced matcha green tea latte is not so great. Beautiful in color. It's a beautiful bright green. But I was not a fan of that. Like, it... I don't really know what, what matcha is. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but I thought I was being all healthy because it's only got like 200 calories. And I was like, well, you know, you know, that's better, you know, than their average, you know, you get a, a frappe or something. It's like 500 calories or 800 calories or whatever. So I thought I was doing so good. It's not very good. And Jason got a... They have these protein drinks. I think he got the cold brew the almond, I want to say. I don't know. I don't know. He got something like that. He got... I don't remember what he got. He got something, and it was not as great either. And I was... And then we got... We spent too much money at Starbucks. Let's just put it that way. We spent too much money. And... Um, so then he got me a tea infusion and it's like a green tea, but he didn't get it sweet. He got it unsweet, which is fine, you know, cause we're on that, we're on a diet, but that was not particularly the best either. 
but it was okay. We made it work. Like it, you know, it was better than that green, that green mess that we got. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad, you guys. Joey tries it and he's like, and I'll let Joey try the drinks that I get, by the way. Um, even coffee drinks, you know, I'll let him try it because it doesn't have alcohol in it. So it's not like, you know, I don't let him have it at like eight, nine o'clock at night, but I will let him try it, you know, and it's twofold. Okay. If you let your kid try it, then they'll be like, oh, that's gross. And then they won't want it anymore. So then you're full. This looks like that one lady that has like leather skin. So if you're going to be doing leather face for Halloween, I highly recommend making your face like orange and then you could go in with like a light brown. It would really look like, it would really look like Dan gone wrong. <laughs> like what the heck? Okay. Focus. Where is my br- okay, here's a brush. Hey Tanya! We're going to go in because I'm not, I'm not sponging my eyes. I hope that's not a sex thing. I hope that's not a sex thing. Do you like my headband? I like it too. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Mm. Bet you guys can't guess what today's tutorial is. I'm a tanning bed. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. That was horrible. Oh, that was so bad. That was seriously just reaching at that point. You ever get to that point? I get to that point. Why am I going around my eyebrows? I have no idea why it's just happening at this point. I look like a grapefruit. That could be, hey, that could be a costume. That could be a costume. Do you like a green stem right here? Yes. Yes. I'm actually, I'm not doing a pumpkin. I'm doing a jack-o'-lantern. Please get it straight. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I'm, like, I feel like one half of my face is, like, super orange, and then the other half is, like, kind of orange. It's like, you know, you're facing the sun, like, you have the sun, like, on this side of your face, and it gets, like, all super tan, right? And then the other side of your face is, like, white. It's just, like, white. But if you did want to just be a pumpkin, if you don't want to be a jack-o'-lantern, you just want to be a pumpkin, and I dig it, right? It's pretty easy. I feel like this side, you're talking about this side, right? This is my right side. The camera, it lies to you. It lies. Be serious. I need to be serious. You guys ever seen me be serious? <laughs> no. Jason gets after me because I'm not serious. I'm like, really, Jason, be serious. Just kidding. I've kind of watched a few tutorials. I think that's sexy. I think that's. I should have worn an orange shirt. Should have, would have, could have. Mm -hmm. All right, now what I'm going to do. You guys can't see it, but my hand's like over here. Like, now what I'm going to do. Hands got attitude. Okay. Hopefully I can find my blending brush. I'm going to get my desk cleaned off. 
which it pretty much is, but I'm going to get my stuff set up over there. I'm going to get a brush organizer from Walmart because I was there last night and they have some really nice ones there. And I'm going... You guys ever get like randomly distracted by stuff? That's me. Random distractions. Okay, this isn't funny. Where the how many brushes do I really have? This is only part of them. This is a good blending brush, but branding brush. It's a good branding brush. Um, not for sure what a branding brush is, but I'm sure that this is a good one. I was supposed to be like this right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with our lively. Just make it a little bit more orange right up here. I'm hoping to like contour a little bit, I guess, on my eyes, which I guess doesn't even really matter because I'm going to be doing black over it. Oh, things have just taken a turn for the worse on this live. This is just, this is just how to be, how to be a, a hot mess. Pumpkin. And, and, oh, you know what? This would be had to be a hot mess. If you were going to be like a hot mess, like on fire. You're welcome. Inadvertent. Inadvertent. It's time to get serious. Trying to find a pointed brush. Should I do this? Let me just take 50 million minutes and think about it. I'm going to take a pointed eye brow brush. I should have brush. I don't know. I don't know which it is. And what we're going to do... That is not straight. That is not straight. Please don't make, please don't make any comments about that statement. Hey, Elise, Donald and Elise. Oh, this is just, I look like some kind of deranged bunny rabbit, but like, I, I don't even know, like, I don't even know how to begin to comprehend the hot mess that is this face, but that's okay. Because on Halloween, you could do your makeup all jacked up and pretend that you meant to do it that way and go outside. And guess what? People will never know. They will think it is part of the costume. Like, you could do your makeup completely jacked up and then go as, like, um, a beauty guru gone wrong or something like that, right? And nobody's going to be, nobody's going to say boo to you. Nobody's going to be like, that's not what you are. I know what you are. I know what you did last summer. I don't like it. I don't like none of it. And we 
we're filling it in and we're filling it in okay There are so many different ways that you could do a jack-o'-lantern. Please do not feel like you have to follow this tutorial or this makeup look exactly. Um, this is solely for your entertainment only. Because I love jumping on with you guys and interacting with you guys. And I love... I like being a little crazy. I like, I like the crazy, the glitter black. I should, I'm going to solid this up, solid this up. That, that's, there is no good way, apparently for me to say makeup terms, like it all comes out, you know, like there's this term called spilling the tea. It's like spilling the gossip. And I think that would even come out like wrong if I said it, which I just did. I feel like that this is like a really, really bad wing. Is what it looks like. I think the glitter is a good idea. But I'm going to wait and do that last because... Surprise, I still haven't been able to find any glitter glue. You guys, I went to Target because Target sells NYX. I would be an orange cat too. I would rock that. This could be a tiger look too. You could do like, um, I wouldn't do your whole face. I would do maybe like your forehead and then do kind of stripes on your forehead and then maybe just like your, your cheeks and then do like your eyes maybe as normal or do like a really sexy cat eye. I think that's where it's at. Is this my shade? Because I feel like this is not my shade. If you did your face all red, you could go as a tomato. I'm going to take eyeshadow. And we're going to start... Should I do a big mouth or should I do? It does bring my eyes out. You guys, I'm having so much fun with this look. Like this is such a bizarre <laughs> look. I feel like half the time, like, you guys, I don't drink alcohol. I don't. I don't drink alcohol because for the longest time I have ADHD and I take medication for it, okay? And you're not supposed to drink when you take stuff for ADHD, right? So this is just how weird I really am. You're welcome. So if you're over there like, what has she had to drink? Mm-hmm, nothing. Mm-hmm. 
You can't see either, which makes life a lot of fun. I am blind. Holy Hannah. Well, this is going to heck in a handbasket. That's just... You know what? You know what would make it easier for you guys? If you did, um, like, you put the lines where you want stuff to be. So, like, if you wanted a little thing right here and, like, a little thing right here that meant to be lower. Probably should have it as high. And then, like... One like, who would you even do a jack o' lantern? Does it all have to be like the same size? Like I'm confused. Confused now. Okay. I feel like I've never done a jack o' lantern. Okay, like, okay. Like, what I'm doing is then basically you just connect the lines. Right? I really should not be this insane. But I am. You're welcome. You are welcome. See, and this looks just crazy to me. But my thinking is this. If you go and do your lines, then you know what the smile is going to be. So you can go and finish this up, right? And go, like, cross and then down. And then over. This should be bigger. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. Don't you wish you could do that with more things in your life? Did you screenshot? Did you screenshot something?
feel very concerned at this point that it's not going to work. Just kidding. Oh. I seriously, like I we do we carve pumpkins every year. And then I'm like, okay, now carve your face. And I'm like, I don't want to carve my face. I don't want to carve out my face. You know what you guys could even do? Do like a bloody jack-o'-lantern and you could do this and then like put like blood in there. Ooh, that would be so scary. Like some like deranged individual from some kind of horror movie that hasn't been made yet. Because I haven't made it yet. I know things aren't exactly smooth and it's driving me nuts. But we're going to go with it because... Nothing in life is perfect, and I don't know about you guys, and this is talking very weird, and I'm sorry, and I'm not sure why I'm starting right here on my lips. I'm not sure why that's happening right now, but it's happening. Um, actually, I say that we carve pumpkins every year. I don't carve pumpkins every year. I don't. Jason and Joey carve pumpkins every year. I let them do it. They do it together. But I have carved pumpkins before. Now this looks like whiskers. Like, what is this? What are my brushes doing to me? Like, why? Why you gotta make me look like some kind of deranged pumpkin cat? Like, what? What in the... I didn't think it was possible, but I think I made it worse. Tell me in the comments what you guys are going to be for Halloween. Because... Number one, I'm always looking for ideas. <laughs> number two... Number two... You know, you are like the sweetest person, though. It is so funny. Because, like, I'm sitting here going, like, I have carved pumpkins before. I grew up carving pumpkins, right? I did that with my parents every year. And then you go to, like, do it on your face, and you're like, what's a pumpkin? <laughs> How do you curve it? Like, do you use a knife? Do you use a spoon? Do you, do you use a spoon? Do you do you spoon it? Do you spoon a pumpkin? I thought I'm gonna do that look. I think, cause I think that would be easy and accurate for most of us. At least I know. If you take your kids trick-or-treating, what are you at the end of the night? You are a freaking mommy. Whether you want to be or not. Like, that, it just happens. That's what I am most nights. Like, I come on here and I'm, like, all cool and whatever. But, but really, I'm, uh, you know, you see me out in public. And I'm sure some of you have. See me out and about just on a day when I haven't done my makeup and my hair's up and it's a freaking mess and I'm wearing sweatpants because sweatpants and or yoga pants. Excuse me. Excuse me. I wear yoga pants. Um, they're not yoga pants. They're they're okay. 
I wear stretchy dress pants. I think they're dress pants. I've had them for so long I've forgotten, but they fit and they're stretchy and they don't make you feel guilty for eating a Big Mac. Not that I eat Big Macs because I can't, I can't eat the bread, but they're very forgiving. They are very forgiving. And I am going to do my lips, you guys. I know that I'm, I don't have anything on my lips just yet, but that's because I got some black lipstick. I found some black lipstick at Wally World and we're going to try it out. <clears throat> This is actually turning out better than what I thought it was going to be. And like I, I've told you guys before, like I have no artistic skill. So if you feel like that you need it, don't be afraid to like print out a, a drawing or print out a jack-o'-lantern and like cut it out and use that because nobody's going to judge you. And you are probably not going to do your makeup on a, a Facebook Live. So really nobody's going to judge you. So I do makeup for a living and nobody judges me. So they silently judge me. I feel like my lips now look like a baboon's butt. That's what I'm, that's the direction that I'm going. Hey, Consuelo. Oh, he seems to be a little higher. So we're going to raise that just a little bit. It looks off because the top of my lip is black. Is that better? Is that better? Somebody out there is having OCD screaming at the screen that I need to do my lips. Somebody is. I know they are. Because I would be. I would be. If you guys have tongue rings, do you ever just like look at it and like it just looks funny? I just had that moment. It just looks funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little bit more up top because I want to mess it up. Apparently, my fantastic artistry. Um, I will say this. I did watch a tutorial by one of my favorite YouTubers, Graveyard Girl, who I, 10 out of 10, I love her. She is so funny. Um, and she did a um, pumpkin a little bit differently. Or, excuse me, not a pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern. Hey, Erin. And you could, of course, go extra with this. You know, you could do glitter everywhere. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Like, make it your own, you know? Hey, Jeremiah. Hey, Jennifer. I 
I can't decide if I really like that idea or if I think you're completely evil for suggesting that. love the way my brain works. Hey, Kira. I love the way it just, it just, it'll go from one pot to a positive thing or like just completely negative. You could do that. You could do that. You could do like, because who carves pumpkins, right? It never carves the right way, right? It never, I know you're not evil. I know you're not, hon. But I'm like, that's more work. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I'm like, that's more work. Because that is honestly, this was driving me nuts. It just felt like a little short and stubby, so I had to make it a little bit bigger. Now my tooth reaches my nose. And I don't carve my pumpkins like this, but I know sometimes, you know, they end up with that little, you know, Charlie Brown. No, you're fine. You're fine. I. <laughs> this is the way my brain works, you guys. Like, literally, I love coming on here and doing different looks. However, I'm also, I don't want to say lazy, but at the same time, I'm kind of, sometimes, you know, you want to sit and spend time doing a look, right? But you don't always have time to do it. So, sometimes... this brow hair that suddenly like <laughs> went like stick straight this um I don't know why that was necessary for me to just do that but anyway um I like stuff to be easy because I'm not very artistic with drawing and stuff. Now, people like Kira on here. Kira could do a very, very fabulous look because she's got artistic talent. Um, my friend Jessica, she could do a more artistic look because she's got some of that drawing talent. I do not. I don't. Um, you know, I'm a writer. I can, I can write stuff out and make it sound pretty, but... You are so sweet. You could totally do this pumpkin. Like, if I, literally, if I can do this, you guys can too. Now, I took witty on most of my face, and I'm just taking lively, just like kind of around right here. I should have done lively on my eyebrows. I should have made the eyebrows just like a darker orange just because who wouldn't like orange eyebrows? And I will say to you guys, I use the shine cloths to take this off and it is nothing. Nothing. It takes five minutes or less for me to remove my makeup. Okay. This is not something that I sit in... Um, cause I did watch graveyard girls pumpkin thing. And she said, I think she said four to six wipes later. She finally had it all off. I don't use four to six wipes. I use one wipe one, well, one cloth and it cleanses as it removes it. And it is, they're fabulous. Fabulous and amazing. And this little black smudge. Needs to get out of my life, like right now. 
You are not fabulous. You lose. You lose. You go away. Something in my face. I was thinking, if I had planned it out right, I could have had a little quad palette with witty and lively and the black, which I don't know the color of the black. And you could do like, you know, that's three. And then you just pick like another one, like a gray to go around it with. It's up to you. Totally up to you. Then you have like a makeup look all in one. And you have eyeshadows that you will and can use for a different time. What is this? What is this? Did anybody else notice that? Like, is that, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna start messing with it and then I'm gonna get angry. And then this look is going to change. We'll tell you what I am gonna do. I am gonna go kind of around the edges with the lively, which is the darker orange. Why is my skin showing through? I don't want to see my skin. I'm a pumpkin. I am a gosh dang pumpkin. Jack Leonard, sorry. You guys want to know what the trick is to shadowing? You guys want to know? You draw a line like this with your eyeshadow. And then you go and smudge it and pull it down like that. It's really easy, but it can also, like, make your look a lot better. Especially if you're doing, like, a bloody look. I would take and pull it down a little bit. I look like... Uh, cheddar cheese popcorn. Any way that I can relate my makeup to food. Just any way to tie it to a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh. Isn't that amazing? I was thinking about doing some food items. Would you guys be down for some food items makeup? Not like actual food and taking it and doing makeup with it. Although that's an idea, but not for uh, Halloween. That's an idea for another time. I don't know why I have to hold my mirror so far away. I try to not hold it like in the camera, but... I'm also blind, so if I hold it all the way over here, then I'm... I'm sorry if I'm not talking. I'm trying to. I'm focused. I'm focused. You guys would definitely be able to do a look like this faster than I do. Any of the looks that I do, you could do them faster than me just because you're not going to spend time. Probably not going to spend time sitting and chatting with people or reading comments, trying to be entertaining. 
trying to be entertaining. Which I will tell you guys, like, going live is a different experience. You know, if you've never done it before, like, it can, it can feel intimidating and scary. And I will tell you that the biggest secret to going live is you have to always be yourself, but be more of yourself. You know, like, I am very quiet, okay? If you see me out in public and you say hi to me, I am very quiet and reserved. And I will say hi to you back, like, I'm not a jerk, but I am also very shy. So I'm not, when I first meet you, I'm not going to be like what you see on a live. That takes time. But my best friends, anybody that knows me personally and has known me for a while... You, you will know, you can tell them, you can tell them, but it, it's, um, once I feel comfortable around you, all bets are off. So just that, that's the top of the pumpkin, I guess. So that's going to be just a little extra, I guess. We're just using the rest of the, of the eyeshadow. Glitter. Are you guys gonna enjoy my headband? Isn't that cute? I could not believe it was only two dollars. Like at Walmart, it would have been four. I guarantee you, it would have been four. And I'm cheap. I am so cheap. I am cheap, cheap, cheap. Glitter palette. Palette. I'm using like, I don't want to say disposable brushes, but these are cheaper brushes that I got off of Amazon. This does not have a mirror. It does not come with a mirror, which I don't like that. But you know what? It's all good. I have a mirror. It's okay. It's okay. I have my own mirror. And I'm working on glitter glue, which will help this stay a lot better. I've actually not had bad luck with this, um, this little glitter palette that I got. It's been pretty amazing. Can you see it? I think my biggest hurdle with it is that I'm not used to applying glitter. It's not something that I do a whole lot, so it, I, I feel like it could be better and it, it, you know, my application of it could be better, but like I said, I'm not used to it, so I'm just kind of, I am learning as we go here. I did get glitter glue. Son of a monkey. I didn't get glitter glue, you guys. I got lash glue. Which you can use that too. You can use the lash glue. For your glitter. That's like a professional trick that they okay. 
Did you guys notice that I didn't skip a number today? So I didn't go live yesterday. So yesterday, technically yesterday would have been number eight. But I'm like, you know what? Tomorrow will be number nine and Saturday will be number ten. And I have to tell you guys, I have gone live five days a week since June. Since June. And it really wears on a person. Um, I have extreme anxiety, so it affects me there. And I think, you know, after a while, I think it, it had started affecting me a little bit. Um, I don't want to like give an excuse cause I feel like that's an excuse. Um, but it, it does happen. So if you, if you think that you can't do this, like you can, I have extreme anxiety and like social anxiety and I do this. Like I love jumping on with you guys, but I'm not going to lie to you. Getting to my weekend, getting to when I don't have to go live, it's, a relief sometimes because it's like I can relax. I can give my face a break and I can not do makeup if I don't want to do makeup because I'm lazy. And a lot of times I don't do makeup, you guys. If I don't come on here with you, I don't do makeup. So it does take a lot out of me, but I do also enjoy it. So as long as I enjoy it, I'm still going to be going live and coming on here with you guys, and especially Halloween. Halloween is just fun for me because you get to be somebody that maybe you ordinarily can't be, you know? You know, you know, obviously if you're like, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a cowgirl or if you want to be, you know, a rock star, I don't know how many of us are rock stars, but I'm not, I'm not right. And, and getting glittered up and, and kind of getting dressed up and enjoying your, that fantasy for even just a night can really be therapeutic and, you know, be like a vacation from your normal self. You know, you could always, if you have kids, give your kids to your parents or grandparents or the other parent. If they want to take them out for Halloween, you can go as a single parent for Halloween. You can go and, I don't know. I don't know how single parents act. It's been so long. It's been so long. Not a single parent, like a, a regular single person with no kids. An un, an unkitted person. There. Now I have a nose because I was thinking about it. And you know, you know. I don't know about you, but I usually give my jack lanterns a nose. Like, I don't just sit there and let them sit there with their eyes. But I also want to do some skincare videos because. When you go live five days a week or when you wear heavy makeup a lot, which some of you do, I'm sure, you know, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just saying if you wear a lot of heavy makeup, you know, I used to do that. I used to, you know, any day that I worked, I put on more makeup than I normally would. And, you know, you got to take care of your skin, right? Because if you take care of your skin, then that makeup's going to sit better. It's going to look better. So, I definitely want to show you guys how I have been.
taking care of my skin. And I still, I could have used my lash glue on it. Seriously. Some days I brain and some days I don't. And unfortunately, I think this is one of the don't days. I said that to Joey and Joey's like, what do you mean you brain? And I was like, I mean, I think. Some days I think really, really well. And then other days I don't. What's going to take way less makeup? Oh, yeah. If you take care of your skin. Heck yeah. Like, I have rosy cheeks, and that's something that I've always worried about, so I've always used a little bit more makeup. But, since I started using the rose water, it's actually kind of diluted it. Um, and, hey, Angel, and if you take care of your skin, it's going to break out less. Which, if you use concealers to mask or cover up your breakouts, guess what? If you don't break out, you don't have to use as much concealer. Or you can use a lighter foundation or you can use, you know, a lighter form of coverage. I never thought I would see the day. I've always been full coverage. You know, that's what I want. I would put, you know, I, I, I seriously, I want the full coverage. And we have this BB cream, which is like, you know, it's a moisturizer and it's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of coverage in it. So you can put it on and it covers a little bit, but it doesn't cover everything and I've actually had days where I wear that and it's freaking awesome you know or the loose powder foundations are really light too and it's amazing and these are just going freaking nuts can you tell they just love my jack-o'-lantern they just love my jack-o'-lantern and normally okay <clears throat> whatever you're doing for Halloween, like you should bring it down your neck. Um, if you're wearing an open neck or an open shirt like this, you would definitely want to cover this up, you know, or if your costume is open, obviously you want to cover up whatever skin's going to be showing depending on your costume. Hey, Amber, if you're doing something like this, you know, with this, you could even just blend the orange down your neck and then just like blend it black or wear a black shirt. And be like a, a pumpkin king, you know, kind of a thing. Like, or like, a, like, or like, like, blah, blah, blah. like a pumpkin person. So. There are so many options. But I think that's it. I think that's it for the pumpkin. What do you guys think? I know my hair's not down. But that's because of this thing. It is hard to do. You just need to get yourself a good concealer or incorporate the tattoo. You know, you said you're going to be a sugar skull. And I think the tattoo would be perfect. I think maybe taking some black eyeshadow and maybe kind of shadowing your tattoo or the edges of your tattoo. And basically making it part of your costume. I think that would be really cool. I was going to say something else. But we'll keep it peachy. I try to keep my stuff PG, and I'm sorry if I don't always, but I do try. I do try. And of course, you guys, whatever makeup you do, get yourself a good setting spray. Of course, I'm going to recommend this setting spray. Um, it's freaking amazing. It really holds it in. Um, Urban Decay All Nighter, I've also heard is great, and you can get a sample size on Ulta. On Ulta's website, I think it's like $10. Of course, it, it's smaller, so you don't get as much. It's not like a full bottle. But, um, yeah, there you can get that. At least it was, they, they had some the other time. when Because I was going to, I was going to look and kind of review and, and compare them. So. But, I, you know, there's a lot of really good setting sprays. So my advice is just to get some good setting spray. And whatever makeup you do for Halloween, I wouldn't do it with your kids. Um, of course, you know, if you're just going to go out trick-or-treating with them, maybe you don't care if it lasts forever. You know, it depends on your specific situation that way. 
But if you're going to like a party and you definitely want kiss proof makeup, if you're going out with your significant other or if you're going out as a single person and you are hoping to meet somebody or hook up, whatever it is, um, you know, if you're going to be kissing, you're definitely going to want setting spray, setting powder. If you put eye primer on your lips before your lipstick, and then I would even put the tissue paper over it and put setting powder over it. If you have it, that will like ultimate and lip liners are supposed to help it last longer too. So if you put a lip liner underneath your lipstick, that's supposed to help it stay longer. Concealer around the edges of your mouth. It's supposed to keep it from feathering. And that's true. I have found that to be true. Yeah, Kira. Yeah, there. I would, you know, because obviously a tattoo, that's not something that you, you know, there's concealers that will cover it up. And I can recommend some really good concealers that may cover it up. But instead of worrying about covering it up, because what happens is you, I don't want to say you sweat more on your chest, but if you're under a lot of lights or whatever, or if your costume's kind of heavy, it's going to sweat. And if you put concealer down here, then, you know, any, any touching it at all is going to smear it and then it's going to look funny, right? But if you took some eyeshadow and did that, and then I would put setting spray over, you know, your chest. I would, I would setting spray the chest. Hey, Maria. Hey, Shilele. <laughs> um, and that'll keep it in place. And, you know, or you could even, whatever colors are in your tattoo, because I forget. You could even take eyeshadow matching that and kind of, like, <laughs> touch it up, you know, and, like, emphasize certain things. I don't know. I don't know. Like a zombie tattoo. Make it, like, black around the edges and then maybe like black in the middle or like put like black eyeshadow kind of over it so that it looks old or like a an off-white to make it look like an older sheet of paper you know and then an off-white like around it I don't know I don't know for somebody who doesn't have tattoos I certainly have a lot of ideas on how to work them into Halloween costume I'm an idea person though so if you guys do need some ideas, need inspiration for your Halloween costumes, um, or, you know, how would I do this? How would I do that? I am pretty good with stuff. I am, you know, I'm not trying to be cocky or arrogant or anything like that, but I, I do think differently than average Joe. So I might be able to give you a good idea to use. You don't have to use it, but... I feel like this one looks like it's set back further when it's really not. Like they're both, can you see this? They're both like set the same. You know what we need to do? Put on the blue light. I don't have like an orangish tint. At least I don't, I think I do. Maybe it was on the orange. That is orange. Take it down a couple notches. Almost off. Ooh, look at how bright that turned, you guys. Here's the difference between light on or light off. On. Off. Pumpkin light headband with light on or light off. And if you do do a, do 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 a pumpkin, this line up here, you can do it any way you want to. I know that when we cut pumpkins, usually there's one line going like this, right? And then you got to cut it and like that won't, that cut won't go through. So it'll be like too far up here. And then, you know, you have to pick up the cut at, the, at a different spot. I don't know about you guys, but that's, that's our experience cutting a pumpkin. It's never like a perfect circle. It's never like you have like cuts. It's just... It's, pumpkins are a hot mess. They just are. Let's 
because we can get any more color out of it. I feel like I'm applying like shaving cream. Like a guy who's applying shaving cream. With a baboon's butt. Look at that. That's not appropriate. Okay. Sorry. Let me give you the full effect here. Hey, Sierra. What am I using? Oh, my sponge. Nicole. My sponge. These are Equate wedge applicator sponges. You get like 32. They're like a dollar at Walmart. I just don't want to use um, my facial sponge for like Halloween stuff because I feel like I really don't know why exactly. I just, you know, with these, there's done all kinds of videos about like the bacteria and everything that can get inside there. So I feel like if I use them for just like face makeup that I'm using less with them. So maybe they're safer. Maybe they'll last longer. Whereas these, they're so cheap. I could use it and throw it away. And if you're doing anything with latex, these are really great, especially if you rip them in half and use the, the ripped half to, to go through. I've seen that tip on YouTube. I watch too much YouTube. That's what I... And I folded it in half this time. The other day, I used it like this and dipped it like this. I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I did. It did absorb a lot of product, though. That looks like it's been scorched, like you just took a flame and just scorched it. That's exactly what it looks like, actually. Looks If it was square, it would look like a marshmallow. Kind of weird marshmallow. It's kind of weird. People be tuning in like, why do you have a cooked marshmallow in your hand? Like a partially cooked marshmallow. And why aren't you eating it? Now I want a marshmallow. Are you guys seeing this right now? It's like they're happy or something. If I move, does it slow down? Are you guys seeing that too? This is probably another way for the government to control you. Via pumpkin. A light up pumpkin head there. <laughs> you must be serious. I'm a serious pumpkin. I feel like this side, I didn't go as big as I did on this side. But you guys can do whatever you want. And I don't know what this is right here. Still not sure. I, I You guys, I, <laughs> I Googled like pumpkin makeup, right? And I still didn't do the lines on my face, which I was going to do, which I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I've. You, you can do the lines. I Today is not a good brain day. Right? Girl, I have an alien look. I think I posted it in the group. You'll have to. Pretty sure I did. But it's like a really intense makeup look for Halloween. <laughs> that I thought about doing. And I was like. Oh, 
don't know if you guys can hear that, but my husband is calling me on my other phone. And I did the nose, and you guys, if you're saying, oh my gosh, how is it so straight? Because, okay, this is this is a tip, okay? I have hooded eyes, right? So for me to do a wing, I kind of have to do it just a little bit differently than other people. I'm sorry. I <laughs> um, But basically, because if you just follow the line of your nose and go across, it's going to look curved, right? You have to come down. And make a circle. And I know that you're like looking at me going, are you freaking serious? Right? Yes, you do. If you draw the line, right? Go up your nose and then you come down a little bit. What'll happen is when you're straight on, it won't look that way. It's like because your nose is, is 3D and you're making it like 2D, I guess. That's, that's what I did tonight. Because I drew the line and it looked like all curved. It looked, looked like a... A deranged triangle. And then I came down a little bit. For the orange, all over my face, I used Witty, which is the pre a pressed powder shadow. And then for the darker orange is Lively. And the black, I used Palette 3, but you, there's a black pressed powder shadow too that I just don't have. Yeah, and see, with hooded eyes, you're supposed to do, like, you're supposed to kind of do the same because it's like an optical illusion because what will happen is it looks, it looks curved or it looks weird when it's not. Like, if I drew my wing liner, like, completely straight, it 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 looks funny. I can't remember how the, the eyeliner works, but that's what I did with my nose. That's a curved part of your body, right? So it's like when you turn like this, it literally looks like you took a line and it's it's shorter. Whereas if you pull it down, and I you can't even see, you kind of can when I do it this way. See, you can see I kind of pulled it down. That's a sexy look for me right there. Hey, Joey. What? Can you bring me my phone? Did you answer when daddy called? Did you answer when your daddy called? No. Like, I'm the weirdo. Boo! Boo. I can't scare this kid. Can't. Just violently tosses things at me. What do you think? I didn't do the lines, Joey. Okay. By the way, trying to explain why you put lines on your face. To an eight-year-old, that was fun, too. I was asking him, should I do the lines? You know, if I do orange, then I got to do lines. And he goes, why? And I was like, well, because pumpkins have indentations on them. They're not perfectly round like oranges, right? They have indentations. And on your face, because your face does not have those indentations, you put lines on it to indicate shadow. To indicate indentations. And now, at this point, I'm not even sure if I understand myself. It's my life, like living inside of my head is, would be very interesting for any of you. All right, you guys, I got the hubs calling me. So I suppose I better jump off of here. This was a jack-o'-lantern. There are so many different ways that you can do this. Um, don't be afraid to experiment. Um, if you don't want to put orange all over your face, you can just do this. 
and do your eyes and kind of do like a like an orange smoky eye and then put the things in there you could even put them on your eyebrows you could do it any way you there are so many different options for you guys out there so don't ever feel like you have to do it exactly the same it's just fascinating to me like i i am i am a different kind of person um you know don't be afraid to try with the orange you know it's it does look a little funny until you get the black on it and then once you get the black people are like oh Oh, and they'll get it. And they'll get it. I bought this headband, by the way, just for tonight. Just for you. Hello, husband. Okay. One more full effect before I got to jump off here. Is that not? I want a, I want a soda. I want soda so bad. Like Coca Cola. I want like all the Coca Cola. Kira, the next time you do a video, I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it to my page and I'm going to like it and I'm going to let everybody know so they can watch it. I should show your other video because it was freaking amazing. I got you. What do you think? This is a little glitter overlord. overlord. A little glitter overlord. Which, by the way, is... Another idea for a Halloween costume, you could do like a little glitter man just right on the side of your cheek and call it a little glitter overlord. Give him a wand. Give him a top hat, something that indicates he's in charge. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so random. Like, it's just... The trail in my head goes in a million different directions. But all right. Isn't this amazing? I look like Seamus's hair. But all right, guys, this is my Thursday night. If you want these, um, they had them at my Target for $2. Since I just used them for tonight, I don't know if I will use them again. I may do a giveaway if you share this video for them. That might be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty... Pretty freaking awesome. I'm very happy. I wish I could get my face to do that. That would be amazing. But all right, guys. I love you guys a long time. And Joey loves you guys a long time. And he says, see ya. Tomorrow we are doing a makeup look with Joey. Hang on, I will check.
My schedule. Mm. Why are we doing Frankenstein? I guess we're doing Joey is Frankenstein tomorrow. I might move because I think he picked a pumpkin too. I was gonna do. I was kind. I was trying to do like the different looks together. Oh no, he didn't pick pumpkin. Oh, that little wiener. You guys, I went and I made a list of um, basically kids' makeup looks that I had pictures for. And then I had Joey look at them and basically say what he was willing to sit and let me do. Because that's the kind of parent I am, right? I'm very um, I'm very much a, like a free-range parent, I guess. And if I'm going to be putting makeup on my kid's face, I want him to be sitting there and, you know... I don't want to say enjoy it necessarily, but I definitely want him to like what we're doing. You know, I'm not going to make him up to be a fairy princess unless he, that's something that he wants to do. So he picked out 10 kids looks and pumpkin wasn't one of them. So, bleh. so it looks like we're doing Frankenstein tomorrow. I could multi-chrome. That would be amazing. That would be an interesting makeup challenge. I don't think that's been done before. You know, I've seen, like, the rainbow and stuff. Excuse me. But I have not seen... Sorry. Adding something to my schedule. Oh, it has been done? The multi-chrome? See, I'm up to date on some of it, but like not, not all of it. So I think it's interesting what all of these content creators and these beauty gurus and all that, what they do on YouTube. I think it's really cool. Um, all the different little challenges they do. So I would like to come up with my own challenge, but I know there's, I'm kind of late to the game. So there's so much that's already been done. So By the way, you guys, if you want a really good beauty channel, Swoop is one of my favorite YouTube channels. She, I don't know, she's just hilarious to me. Does full face and hands multi-chrome. Is it made you look? Because she does a lot of makeup. I don't know. I watch Made You Look. I watch Glam and Gore. Um... Like, um, I think it's Rachel Loves Beauty, Rachel Beauty 101 something. She does the 100 layers like she did. Um, she does, she did like a pound of glue on her face and she did a pound of glitter on her face and a pound of, um, like regular makeup on her face. She does, you know, funny different things, but, um, Swoop is one of my favorites. Swoop is so hilarious. And I've been watching a lot of Graveyard Girl, which was interesting because now every time I go to Walmart or go to any store, I like earthworm through the doors, you know, because she she does that when she goes and, and does different things. So it's I have an interesting life. I watch a lot of YouTube anymore. I don't watch so much Netflix. So. so. But I'm all about supporting other people, you know. Yes, I do work with a specific company. Yes, I'm going to recommend products, mostly of products that deal with with that specific company but more than that you guys I just like coming on here and talking to you guys and doing makeup looks and sharing tips and and tricks and and having fun I like having fun with your makeup I feel like it's an expression of you I feel like it absolutely is art you know and I think the whole idea that makeup should be used to like enhance what you already have I think you can do that but you know, when you put on purple eyeshadow, like, it, listen, if your eyelids are purple, you got to be dead because that's, you're, nobody's born with, like, purple eyelids, okay? Unless your skin is so dark that it's, um, like, like blackish purple or purplish black, you know, until, like, it's so completely dark. But even then, it's not, like, bright purple, okay? It's not like an eggplant, okay? Like, that's, you're not fooling anybody, all right? And I think that it's a brilliant way to, to express yourself that... 
is, you know, it doesn't hurt your body as long as you obviously don't ingest it. And, you know, it's not like smoking. It's not like drinking. It's not like doing drugs. And, um, you know, it's just a really cool way of expressing yourself that is not permanent, like piercing or like tattoos, because a lot of parents don't like that. So, you know, but they'll allow you to do makeup. So I don't know. That's just my two cents on it. I'm not calling anybody out. I don't. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to start doing before and afters of my ma my Halloween makeup because I used to do that and I used to post those and now I don't. And I'm sorry for that. I am so sorry that I haven't been doing that because I, I don't know why, you know, um, I'm kind of trying to make it where like you have to watch the live to see the look. So I think that might be part of it. But I'm also, I don't know, like I want to share it with you because sometimes, you know, if I'm on for two hours, like right now I've been on for almost two hours and, you know, some people can't watch the whole thing or, you know, Facebook freaking puts the end right in the little thumbnail, which angers me because I'm like, well, now they see it. They don't have to watch the video. Like Facebook is screwing me over. Facebook is... Facebook. You like tattoos? I do too. I like tattoos and piercings. And I'm actually, I'm a, I'm a pretty open parent. I've already told Joey, Jason and I have told him, if you want a tattoo when you're 16, when you're 16, I'm not, you're not going to get a tattoo or a piercing before then. Right? Unless it's like just something that we extremely, extremely believe in and whatever. But like, you know, I will gladly take you to a tattoo parlor. I would rather you come to me and say, I want to get a tattoo. I want to get a piercing and have me take you to a reputable place. than me say, no, 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 no. You don't need tattoos. You're too young. You're not going to do this. I'm not going to take you. So you're going to have to do it. And then like my brother got somebody at a house to do his tattoo who I'm not saying that person was bad, but People who do tattoos in home may not always be extremely sanitary. And when you go to a reputable um, tattoo parlor that Joey has gone to school with bright blue hair. He has gone to school with bright yellow hair because we bought um, hairspray like years ago and we still have it so sometimes he gets the itch and he'll just do it and I have hair chalk you know I am I'll let him go to school with purple hair with bright you know whatever but again it's kind of like you know let me find some some safe hair dye for kids but I'm like you know if you want a real tattoo you know let me take you to a good place let me take you to a place that will do it and they will do it professionally and it will be really good. And it'll be something that years, years down the line, you're like, wow, you know, this is a really good tattoo rather than, oh my gosh, it looks like, it looks like somebody cracked open the earth. Just saying. And you know, not all tattoo artists who aren't in a salon or a parlor, not all of them are bad. Some of them are really good and really sanitary, but you know, you usually if you work from home, you know, either maybe you're starting out, um, you know, different things. So I, it just makes me feel better. Like going to an actual parlor tattoo, is it parlor or salon? I don't know, but going to an actual tattoo building, where they have training and they use, you know, clean needles and they use, you know, clean equipment, clean colors, clean everything for every new person. Like it's a lot safer. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, same with piercings. Like I remember when I was a teenager, the big thing was to do piercings yourself. Like that was the big things like, oh, I pierced my own nose or I pierced my own septum or I pierced my own lip or, you know, whatever. That was a big thing. And I'm just like, yeah, you probably can, you know, you ice it up. I remember when we, when we were kids, like kids, like less like 
10, 11, 12 year olds. That was the big thing at a sleepover is you got, you know, went and you got your ears pierced or something. And <laughs> I am pretty open. You know, I have my tongue pierced. Jason has his tongue pierced and he has, um, his ears gauged. We're gauging his ears, but, or he's gauging his, I shouldn't say we're gauging his ears. But he, you know, we're working on that. And then, you know, just make sure it's done by somebody reputable. Like, if you go to a tattoo and piercing place, they're going to know how to do it. And most of them will do it and they'll do it clean and they'll do it professionally. And you won't get an infection and you, as long as you take care of it with a piercing and, you know, with a tattoo, as long as you take care of it. Um, but if you use dirty needles or anything like that, it's just... It's a whole mess of stuff, and I would just encourage you to, like, you know, that's just the way I am as a parent, and I've told Joey, and I know not all parents are like that, you know, not all parents are open. My parents certainly weren't. My parents, you know, would not have taken me to get a tattoo or a piercing, and, you know, their opinion is, is that it's forever, and you shouldn't be making forever decisions as a teenager. And I was like, yeah, but you can join the army at 18. That can be a forever decision. Um, you know, you go away and either you don't come home because you die or you're in the military until you retire or you're in the military for the rest of your life. And, um, you know, with tattoos like, oh, well, when you get old, they're going to look funny and be like, yeah, they're going to look funny. And I'm going to look down and I'm going to show my grandkids because I don't have any tattoos yet, but I will. And I'm going to be like, look at that. This is what it used to be. And this is what it looks like now. And it'll be hilarious. And hopefully it'll still look relatively the same. But, you know, when you get old and you get wrinkles and stuff. So things things will look a little differently, but I don't see anything wrong with it. I am definitely pro tattoo and pro piercing. Absolutely. See, yeah, see, me and Jason are like, that's one thing, you know, but I also will say this, I'm still going to tell, like, Joey knows that we're open to it, but I'm also still going to kind of tell him that I don't want him to get a tattoo or a piercing because, and I think, and here's why, is because I grew up with that and that's what I did to rebel. Did you get me a soda? Um, you know, I feel like kids today don't have anything to rebel against. And so they're doing more, worse and worse things like the Tide Pod thing. And I feel like if I say, oh, I don't want you to get a tattoo or I don't want you to get a piercing. But if you're going to do it, then at least let me take you to a good place. And I feel like it'll just be better. I don't know. But Jason is home, so I got to go. Isn't this cute? Isn't it cute? Ah! All right. This is our look for today. I love you guys a long time. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. It's my, it's me winking. Bye, guys.